The popular Making More From Sheep program encompasses a whole range of tools, from pasture and animal management to breeding and genetics. But the overall focus is simply making sheep easier to manage, so gains can be made without adding to your workload. Sounds good, doesn't it? But how easy is it to achieve in practice? Well, Tim Dawson introduces us to some producers who've done just that. These two lambs, barely a week old, should fetch around $100 each when they eventually go to market. But how much work goes into making that return? It doesn't have to be difficult. I work on average probably 30 to 35 hours a week. Everything that needs to be done gets done. Andrew Seedsman single-handedly runs a 400 hectare sheep property in South Australia. For Andrew, the idea that sheep production has to be labour intensive just doesn't hold water. One labour unit can run 3,500 ewes in this system very, very easily. Um, in fact, under this system, I would suggest that one labour unit could probably run 4,500 crossbred ewes under this system without being in a hurry. By adopting management practices identified by the MLA and AWI Making More From Sheep program, producers like Andrew are making real gains. We're getting much better pasture grazing management. We've got a lot less weeds. Our perennial pastures have improved. That makes our, our ewe nutrition a lot easier to manage. If the ewe is well fed at the right time of year, you don't have any troubles with worms, you don't have any troubles with flies. Um, your lambing percentages are generally higher and the whole system works a lot easier as a result. Choosing the right genetics to produce good temperament, easy care livestock also helps. With our Coopworth we've been able to create a very easy care flock. Uh, we don't have any lambing problems. We've got very good maternal traits and we, we can cull quite heavily depending on the season so we can adjust our stocking rate to the feed we have on offer each year uh, without a great cost of buying and selling sheep. Another advocate of the better management strategy is Glenn Tilly. On his property, productivity improvements have been made through better infrastructure. His covered race area with auto drafter makes sorting and drafting stock a breeze. At least 30%, perhaps up to 50% easier. You know, certainly a good draft just makes life so much easier. You can run through the stock quite quickly. I can do a lot of the work on my own with the dog and, uh, and, and handle the stock pretty efficiently. Uh, you know, it's not a hard work to do. This gate helps us if we have full pens. So if both pens are totally packed with sheep, we're able to then lift. Come around behind sheep and then... Uh... Glenn's found it's more efficient to run larger mobs. It's the same time for the dog and I to bring in you know, 600 ewes as it is to bring in two or 300 ewes. So you might as well be you know, handling a big mob um, you know, to, to walk behind them and, and bring them in and put them through the yards. It's, it's uh, much the same. He also saves time and trouble by performing several procedures when his stock are in the yards. It may be that we'll crutch the ewes, we'll wean the lambs, we'll uh, drench, vaccinate, we'll, uh, we'll do a worm test while they're in, uh, we'll do a number of operations while they're in. They're the sorts of improvements highlighted in MLA's recent U-Time forums on the Making More From Sheep program. So the Making More From Sheep modules are designed to address the 80-20 the rule. They focus on the 20% uh, the of things that producers need to focus on to get 80% of the impact in uh, improving that aspect of their sheep enterprise. There's so many management options in there that are not expensive but can actually lead to some efficiency. So trying to group sheep together in larger mobs so that you're not actually having to check five or six mobs, you're checking maybe two or three. Crutching trailers, so they're taking the crutching trailer to the sheep rather than the sheep into the yards and that saves a huge amount of time. Um, telemetry to, to do remote monitoring of watering points. Good dogs and yards that dogs can work in is a pretty important part too understanding the the sheep need match to feed so that they're actually getting it's a fairly simple one but it can have a, a profound effect in terms of lamb percentages weaning percentages and uh, and wool cuts as well and those are the results the program's aiming for easier sheep management with improvements in lambs weaned per hectare and carcass weight ensuring that sheep production is profitable and sustainable We've seen producers increase their lambing rates by 20% by or more in some cases when they've just uh, got a few tactical aspects of their management uh, to come together.
We've managed to lift our lambing percentage by an average of about 20%. Uh, we have had up to 140%, which is pretty good in this district. Uh, average is probably still around 120, 125. With our lambing at the moment, our DSE stocking rate would be up around 26 or 28 DSEs to the hectare, which is still very, very high. And we're managing that quite well because our, our new nutrition has been managed so well over that period. It really does come down to planning and having good systems and good management to increase the number of uh, DSC that's run per labour unit. If you've got good facilities where you can handle the sheep easily, uh, if you've got good pasture management so that you're not chasing sheep that aren't performing, if you've got a good culling program in place that, that gets rid of those sheep that aren't performing and you streamline your production system, it's not a difficult job. It's not a time consuming job. It's pretty interesting hearing that Andrew single-handedly runs this entire property. So I've asked him here for a quick chat. Andrew, what have you got against working seven days a week, dawn till dusk? Well, I don't believe it's necessary. If you've got the right management plan in place, and there's a bit of forward, forward planning involved, uh, there are no surprises and the whole job becomes easy. In that story we saw quite a few ways for making sheep easier to manage, but what's highest on your list? What's made the most difference here at Seabrook Farm? I think knowing your cost of production opens a lot of new doors to what else is available and how to move forward from that. The other thing is to have a management plan that works within the environment. Thanks very much, Andrew.